Jabs leg. Jabs leg. Jab. Leg. Ooh, a nice one. Again. Oh yeah. Nip on you. Jabs leg. Jabs leg. Her cross. Her cross. Hmm? Let's start right now. Hey Mike. Mike, how do you respond to fans who want no, 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 your no, Jake no, Paul no, no, fight no, no, to be sanctioned fight? Not today, buddy. Oh, why not? Not today. Like, I'm a little scared because it is Mike Tyson, and I feel like when I look across the ring, I'm just going to be like, have a wow moment that I'm actually about to fight Mike Tyson. Bro, but just think about your on. transition, like... Jake Paul has reacted to Mike Tyson's latest footage, showing Tyson's ripped physique at 57 years old. However, the world's oldest boxer, Steve Ward, has expressed serious concerns about Mike versus Jake. He said, Personally, I think that Mike Tyson could go straight out there and knock him out within a minute, just cream him all together. But are they going to allow that? Or is there something nasty going off in the background that says, You don't knock him out, Mike. Well, it's all to be seen. Ward persisted in the ring until he reached the age of 64, granting him a distinctive perspective on the upcoming showdown. The Nottingham brawler is throwing his support behind Tyson to replicate the feat against Paul on July 20th. Nevertheless, he harbors doubts regarding whether Tyson will receive clearance to unleash his complete power on Paul. Ward said, For me personally, I wish the fight had never been made because if it is like that and Mike holds back on the reins, it only looks bad for one person, Mike Tyson. I wouldn't like him to go out there losing his respect, and I really think if he's held back, that's exactly what's going to happen. So it's a shameful thing. I wish it had never got off the ground. Should Tyson choose to exercise restraint, as Ward suggests, there's a risk that he'll forfeit the admiration of the boxing community, a reputation Iron Mike has diligently cultivated. He added, it is awkward. First of all, you've got to want to really do it. You've got to have the will to do it. You can't half do this. You play football, you play tennis, you don't play boxing. So that's one place in that ring, the loneliest place on the earth, where you can get badly hurt if you're not up to the mark. Drawing from his own journey, Ward intimately understands the daunting task of rekindling one's athletic prowess following an extended hiatus. He empathizes with the arduous journey Tyson is embarking on to whip himself back into fighting form, recognizing the sheer dedication and pain it entails. Ward added, So I can just imagine Mike's had a hard job on. He's had to get back on form. From what I've seen, his fast combinations are looking for business. But a fast combination can be seen quickly, and then you can go a little bit duff. I hope he isn't. I hope he really is training himself to that magnificent peak. Once again, I want him to do Paul. Both Tyson Fury and Anthony Joshua have warmly embraced the prospect of the fight. And now, Oleksandr Usyk, who is set to face Fury next month, has thrown his support behind the event. Usyk emphasizes his support for Tyson's decision to emerge from retirement and take on Jake Paul, affirming he sees no issue with it whatsoever. He said, It just shows Tyson is a big, big famous man who is well known around the world. Jake Paul is a young guy who won at boxing, who wants to help young guys, but it's a big show. If people want to see the show, okay, give it to them. For me, I think it's okay. Usyk explained that Tyson is a legendary boxer who is recognized worldwide, and Jake Paul is a young boxer who has won matches and wants to assist other young boxers, but it's more of a spectacle. Talking about if this fight should be happening or not, Usyk added that if people wish to see the show, they should be given the opportunity. However, Eddie Hearn has strongly condemned the upcoming, denouncing it as appalling in the realm of boxing. Oh, I think that we live in a crazy world, don't we, where, you know, we, we it, that, that younger generation is built off views, mm built off narrative, built off controversy. And as a hardcore fight fan, someone that's been around boxing since I was nine years old, I find, I find it disgusting that a 58-year-old man 59, yeah. who, who was my hero growing up, Firstly, has to even get back in the ring. Discussing the fight on Piers Morgan Uncensored, promoter Hearn commented that we live in a world driven by views, narratives, and controversy, especially with the younger generation. Hearn remarked that as a dedicated boxing enthusiast who has been involved with the sport since the age of nine, he is appalled that a 58-year-old man who was his childhood hero feels the need to return to the ring. From a, from a financial point of view, with the amount of money that that man was paid or par partially paid, during his career. You know, to get in the ring with a 25-year-old guy, you can't really fight. But for me, I understand it, you know. And, uh, you know, speaking to the, the Netflix guys the other day, I don't think they like my criticism of the event. I'm never gonna lie to you. I'm never gonna sugarcoat it. I'm just gonna give you my honest opinion, which is it will sell, people will watch, it will be a big event, 
and I don't like him. Hearn expressed that financially, considering the substantial earnings Tyson received throughout his career, it seems unnecessary for him to step into the ring with a 25-year-old who isn't a proficient fighter. However, Hearn understands the situation. He honestly believes that the event will generate sales and attract viewers due to its magnitude, but personally, he disapproves of it. Hearn's father, fellow promoter Barry, added, It's going to make a huge amount of money. You can understand Netflix's approach. If Tyson doesn't win quickly, he can't win. I don't believe the other guy is much of a fighter, but he's fit and he trains and he's young. Barry also shared his skepticism about Jake Paul's boxing skills, though he acknowledged the opponent's fitness and training due to his youth. He emphasized the risks associated with boxing at Tyson's age, suggesting that Tyson would struggle after just two rounds. He said, two rounds, no matter. When you're 59, two rounds max, Tyson's going to be blowing out of his backside because it's quite dangerous boxing at that level. I find it quite sad. During a recent episode of Logan Paul's impulsive podcast, WWE's chief operating officer, Triple H, voiced his astonishment. He openly praised Jake Paul's decision to leverage the reach of streaming behemoth Netflix for his forthcoming bout against Mike Tyson. Triple H admitted on Logan Paul's impulsive podcast, When I first heard that deal, and you know I saw the announcement, just like everybody else did, I was like, he's gonna fight Tyson. And then just in my mind, I was like, oh, that'll be a good pay-per-view. That'd be cool. Like numerous boxing enthusiasts, he initially anticipated the highly awaited bout to be showcased as a pay-per-view spectacle. Surprisingly, Triple H was caught off guard by the unexpected news that the bout would be brought broadcast on Netflix as part of a larger agreement. Acknowledging the potential reach of a Netflix broadcast compared to a traditional pay-per-view model, he exclaimed, I was like, they're going to run a pay-per-view? And then when I realized, no, it's just on Netflix. The full scope of Paul's strategy then dawned on Triple H. Oh my, kid's a genius, he exclaimed. Triple H views Paul's decision as a daring gamble, saying, gambling on yourself and you know, taking it to another level. The vast audience potential presented by Netflix stands as a formidable advantage, igniting excitement in the wrestling icon. It's really smart, Triple H affirmed, endorsing Jake Paul's groundbreaking strategy in hyping his bout with Mike Tyson. Meanwhile, UFC President Dana White has already conveyed his conversation with Tyson's wife, inquiring about his decision to step into the ring against Jake Paul. Tyson's wife revealed that the offer presented was simply too enticing to refuse, a rationale that certainly carries weight. Declining opportunities worth potentially eight figures is a tough call for anyone. Yet, a fresh perspective emerges from UFC icon Chael Sonnen. He offers an intriguing interpretation interpretation of why Tyson chose to enter the fray. Tyson answered it without speaking about himself, without speaking about his training. A number of guys would simply say, uh, I've got far more experience than he does, or I'm bigger than he is. Or they say, well, the last thing to go is our power. Right, last thing to go is our power is, is terribly problematic because you're now admitting, that's now a concession that everything else is gone. The last thing to go is the power. The only thing I can speak of is the power. That means I've lost everything else, right? It's just a weird thing. Sonnen suggests that pride played a significant role in Tyson's decision. It's widely remembered that there was a period when Tyson was the epitome of intimidation. Such a formidable ego is not easily shed, especially for those who have once basked in its glory. Right, it's just a weird thing. Mike Tyson said, I can draw, I can sell tickets. I'm sitting here with you right now. Nobody else from my time, nobody else 60 years old, regardless of sport has been invited in your studio, it's a great point. It's true. It was all true. And Mike Tyson does have pride. Anticipation hangs thick in the air as spectators eagerly await the imminent clash, fraught with suspense. Concerns loom large over the safety of Mike Tyson, with many fearing the potential for serious injury. The risks are stark. At his age, any forceful blow to the head could spell significant danger. The fragility of the aging brain amplifies these fears, underscoring the potential for lasting neurological harm from just one powerful strike. Tyson must brace himself like never before, recognizing the formidable challenge posed by his opponent, the problem child. Can we give him that? We, we want to take that from him. What is the relevance to pride? Well, pride is what's going to make you try. Pride is what is going to make you care. You'll hear people say, it, I don't care about a number of things. I don't care about failure. I don't care. You'll hear them say that. But the ones that really mean it, the ones where that's true, they, they don't care. They don't care because they don't have pride. It does not matter to them. And we would not assign that title to Mike Tyson, would we? Not in anything. The risks associated with Mike Tyson engaging in combat at his current age are glaringly evident. Any individual over the age of 50 must exercise extreme caution to avoid sustaining any head trauma, let alone enduring repeated punches to the face. Esteemed forensic professionals have thoroughly analyzed this matter and unanimously concluded that Mike Tyson's safety is gravely imperiled. Amidst the myriad perspectives, British pugilist Dave Allen's take stands out as particularly scathing. 
echoing the sentiments of many. Allen recently mentioned, as far as the Mike Tyson versus Jake Paul fight goes, I think it's dangerous. Mike Tyson is one of the greatest heavyweights that ever lived, but at 58 years of age, he shouldn't be getting hit. He further commented that Jake Paul is a young man who is in good shape, and the fight is risky for Tyson, and it should not be taking place. He added, Jake Paul is a young man, he's in shape, and he's ended up being a half-decent professional boxing prospect. So for me, it's dangerous, and it shouldn't be happening. There are just a few scenarios in which Mike Tyson might opt out of this event before July 20th. The foremost possibility is a significant injury sustained during his rigorous training sessions preceding the event. This would likely be the primary factor leading to his withdrawal. Alternatively, unforeseen personal issues or medical conditions cropping up close to the event date could also prompt his absence. However, presently, both parties appear resolute in their determination to step into the ring and defy the skeptics. Tyson has displayed frustration at the constant reminders of his age from numerous quarters. To show his strength and shut the mouths of all the haters, Mike Tyson recently bared his torso, showcasing remarkable fitness ahead of his bout with Jake Paul while mingling with fans over the past weekend. Okay. I communicate ahead of time. As you can see, the titan of the heavyweight division continues to defy expectations, showcasing relentless training regimens through captivating videos and generously bearing his physique for his devoted followers. As he signed autographs and posed for photos last weekend, Tyson said, I don't need a shirt. I have to show them what they are betting on. I want to show off how good I look, how in shape I am. In the realm of professional boxing, Paul stands out with an impressive record of triumph, securing victory in nine out of his ten bouts. However, his flawless streak was tarnished by a single loss to Tommy Fury in the preceding year. Notably, in his latest match, Paul showcased his prowess by swiftly knocking out Ryan Borland in the initial round, marking his sixth decisive victory in the paid ranks. However, Paul, asserting his aspirations for a significant world title, has opted to pause his encounters with journeyman fighters to challenge the boxing icon Tyson. Despite facing considerable backlash for agreeing to fight the aging legend, he remains steadfast in his belief that the match will be evenly contested. Get why people, like, there's, it's very 50-50, but... To the people that don't think I'm going to win, it's like I'm younger, faster, sharper, and, and hit, can hit at, at the same levels that, that he can and t be able to take his punches. When the fight was announced, Paul expressed his excitement about making the fight accessible to all Netflix subscribers. He emphasized his ambition to become a world champion and saw this upcoming bout as an opportunity to prove himself against the greatest heavyweight champion. Paul said, My sights are set on becoming a world champion, and now I have a chance to prove myself against the greatest heavyweight champion ever, the baddest man on the planet, and the most dangerous boxer of all time. This will be the fight of a lifetime. On the other hand, Tyson has also hit out at the event's critics. Tyson stated that despite being 58 years old, he is still attracting billions of views simply by discussing fighting with someone. He expressed frustration towards those, including many athletes who are envious of his current popularity. Tyson dismissed their jealousy and said, I'm 58 and what? I'm getting billions of views from just talking to somebody about fighting. Everybody, even most of the athletes, they're jealous. That's whack. I say in your prime, you couldn't draw a million people, man. What are you talking about? You couldn't sell out an arena. Who at 58 could sell out an 80,000 seat arena. During the weekend, Tyson shared a clip on his Snapchat, featuring a sparring session alongside one of his trainers. The video offered a glimpse into the perspective Paul would experience while maneuvering around the ring with the ex-heavyweight champion. Tyson's choice of Everlast gloves caught the eye as he unleashed rapid punches. This display could be a harbinger of what lies ahead, considering the fight is still over three months away. Fans soon started to share their thoughts on the video. For instance, one fan said, The last time I saw Mike fight as an old man, he looked one round weak and slow. Paul is no contender to any real pro fighter, but he can beat a 60-year-old by just defending himself for two rounds, then drop his mediocre hammer on Mike. Another added, I need Mike to drop this pretender. I need Mike to hit him so hard that he decides not to play boxer anymore. I want him to say, I fucked around, and I found out why they call him Iron Mike. I'm going to the WWE. This fan said, I've been a Mike fan for a long, 
long time. I like Jake too, but Mike even at his age is gonna put something on Jake that he hasn't had. You go Iron Mike. And another fan added, that's great, but it doesn't show the reciprocal punches. He better be scared. I'm not rooting for Paul. Tyson has shown how the fight changes when he gets hit back. Ask Evander. Meanwhile, Mike Tyson appeared in a Fox interview last week and talked about his mindset going into the bout. He said, I have a weird personality. I don't think it's weird though. Whatever I'm afraid to do, I do it. That's how it is. Tyson mentioned that he was apprehensive about the fight with Roy Jones Jr. in 2020, but he decided to proceed with the fight, stating that he confronts anything he is afraid of due to his personality. He added, I was afraid of the Roy Jones Jr. fight in 2020. I was 100 pounds overweight. I was, however, old. 54, 53, and I said, let's do it. Anything I'm afraid of, I confront it. That's my personality. Right now, I'm scared to death. But that's what motivates Tyson to return to the ring. He stated that he has always believed that facing adversity and feeling nervous have propelled him to success throughout his career. He emphasized that he needs these emotions to motivate him to fight. He added, I always believe that adversity and nervousness pretty much catapulted me into success. If I didn't have these feelings, I wouldn't go into this fight. I have to have these feelings to fight. Without them, I would never go in the ring. But Tyson will be all business when reality hits, and the butterflies will disappear. He said, as the fight gets closer, the less nervous I become because it's reality. And in reality, I'm invincible. Talking about his opponent, Tyson mentioned that Jake Paul has evolved significantly since his days of YouTubing. He believes that Paul will come prepared to inflict harm, something Tyson is familiar with. However, Tyson feels that Paul will be making a big mistake. Tyson said, I saw a YouTube of him at 16 doing weird dances. That's not the guy I'm going to be fighting. This guy is going to come. He's going to try to hurt me, which I'm accustomed to, and he's going to be greatly mistaken. Despite lingering skepticism due to his age, Mike Tyson remains resolute in his belief that he will triumph in his bout against Jake Paul. The 57-year-old boxing icon, on the brink of his 58th birthday, had voiced apprehensions regarding his well-being when news of the upcoming bout emerged in early March. Concurrently, an archived video of Tyson relying on a cane for mobility had resurfaced online, fueling concerns among his supporters. Nevertheless, with the recent posting of a photo by Tyson's coach, Rafael Cordero, on social media, perceptions appear to have shifted significantly. Switching gears to Instagram, Cordero uploaded a snapshot featuring Tyson adorned in boxing gloves inside the ring, with Cordero positioned just outside the ropes. Time seemed irrelevant in Tyson's presence, as he emanated an enduring vitality, his robust forearms pulsating with strength and a familiar aura of dominance that resonates deeply with fans. The Brazilian mixed martial arts coach captioned the post, a real war tank, let's go together, as per a translation. Witnessing this formidable incarnation of Tyson, dormant for what seemed like an eternity, ignited a resurgence of optimism among fans. They dared to dream that come July, Iron Mike would step into the ring and leave Paul kissing the canvas. Amidst the palpable excitement surrounding the upcoming showdown, it wasn't long before every fan caught sight of the spectacle. Speculation arose that Tyson still retains his title as the baddest man on the planet. Thus, when Jake Paul steps into the ring with him, he may discover the folly of crossing paths with such a formidable opponent. The user wrote, The prime Mike Tyson is still inside the older Mike Tyson. The amount of fight, punches, power, and speed that he has left inside him will remind Jake Paul to never come out of his lane ever again. On the other hand, Mike Tyson is set to kick the cannabis habit as he gears up for his bout against Jake Paul. Tyson appears to be taking the fight seriously, having become well-known for smoking cannabis. He said, I don't know, maybe it has something to do with my tripler tendencies or something. But I don't think I'm going to smoke for this fight. I think I'm going to be very irritable and nasty. Asked if he would take his own cannabis-infused sweets before a fight, he added, Normally I do, but for this particular fight, I think I'm going to go pretty raw and naked. No regulations have been disclosed for the upcoming match, however. Tyson has acknowledged that it will be an exhibition bout and consequently won't be recorded on either fighter's official record. Despite this, the boxing icon vehemently asserts that the bout will be authentic, brushing off criticisms as mere envy from detractors. Make sure to check out some of our other videos on the screen if you enjoyed this one.